Hello guys, this is Adi from my channel. I'll be doing evolution part 2 and I'll be explaining the history of life as in the fossil record, Earth's early history, the evolution of multicellular life, patterns in evolution, and stay tuned to watch the entire video. Enjoy! The fossil record provides evidence about the history of life on Earth and it also shows how organisms and species have changed over time. Fossils occur in order. Certain fossils appear in older rocks and other fossils appear in recent rocks. More than 99% of all species have become extinct and their remains are either fossils or have deteriorated. How fossils form. Fossils form based on mostly sediment that packs and pressurizes the fossil into the ground and it creates sedimentary rock. For uh, this to happen, you need the entire or some trace of its presence to be fully formed. And sediment gets carried down by small streams or landslides into creating the fossil. Relative dating. In relative dating, the age of the fossil is determined by comparing its placement of that of other fossils. Sedimentary rock forms in the order of age. The oldest layers are on the bottom and, and recent layers are on top. However, it provides no information about its absolute age or age in years. Radioactive dating. This is more precise as it can calculate the age of the fossil based on our remaining radioactive isotopes it contains. The unit measurement is half-life. It is the length of time required for half of the radioactive atoms in a sample to decay. This is more reliable and effective than relative dating because it is math related. The geologic time scale. This scale is developed by scientists studying rock layers and index fossils worldwide and they place Earth's rocks as relative age. As geologists study the layers, they found huge differences between species of them. So they made a scale according to their age and era. Geologists classify the Precambrian and other three into eras. They are the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras. The Paleozoic era. This lasted beginning 544 million years ago and lasted almost 300 million years. Many invertebrates and invertebrates lived and evolved during the Paleozoic. The Mesozoic Era. This began about 245 million years ago and lasted about 180 million years. Many people refer this to the age of dinosaurs, yet many other creatures were also evolving around this time. Mammals are a good example of this. The Cenozoic Era. It's, this began 65 million years ago and it continues on today. It is also called the age of mammals due to many mammals becoming common. Free oxygen. Microfossils lived in rocks over 3.5 billion years old. Those organisms must have evolved from no oxygen because there is almost not an atmosphere. Over time, photosynthetic bacteria began making oxygen that rusted the oceans and made the ocean floor filled with iron. As oxygen started to accumulate in the atmosphere, the ozone layer began to form, methane decreased, and the skies turned blue. The rise of oxygen killed off some cells and let others evolve. Origin of Eukaryotic Cells The endosymbiotic theory states that eukaryotic cells arose from living communities formed by prokaryotic organisms. A mitochondria went inside of a prokaryote and made the first eukaryotic cell. So, we evolved from this eukaryote. Extinction. More than 99% of all species have died. Extinction happened because of resources, competition, environment, and sometimes natural selection. Several times in Earth's history, mass extinctions happened from a quick impact. Like the dinosaurs who were wiped out from a gargantuan asteroid. Many geologists think that extinctions were caused by many factors such as sea level, volcanoes, tectonic plates, etc. Isolation. As organisms evolved, so did their close relatives and themselves. When the species moved away from the main location of creatures, it would evolve into something else due to other resources. Sometimes unrelated organisms look like some other animal. 
Thanks to evolution, most species survived their location and have become what we have today. Thanks for watching everybody. As you all know, my next video will be evolution part 3. And then after that, I'll be showing my face to explain some more information. Please check out my other videos from my channel and watch in order as you will understand what is the point of my channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.